All right, hey guys, it's Terrence here, and I want to give you a quick overview on how to create templates in Super Memo. And um, I don't use this function very often, but when I do, um, or I use it. I use the templates I create all the time. Uh, in fact, I have one of them as my main template. But uh, you only need to do this once. So playing around with it for a while to get it exactly how you like or how I liked was not a problem for me. Again, first off, I like using the uh, uh, categories. Anyway, so I picked one. Let's pick one that I have here. And this is my image uh, template, or call, I call it image occlusion. Um, I think that, that you have a built-in one called occlusion. I didn't really like it, so what I, I decided to modify it, and you can do this by editing or deleting components as you see fit. And so we'll just go ahead and delete a couple of components that I may not want on mine. And in fact, I'll probably just start off with a blank slate here. And so we'll hit and delete this too. Here I have basically nothing on here. If I want to see what components I have, I can look at component order. And I have zero components on here. Now when editing a template, uh, it will help a great deal if you have the Compose Toolbar out. This is the Compose Toolbar. Now let's say um, normally you have a uh, for for reading articles, you have an article template, and it doesn't have the picture how I like it. I don't even think there is an article with a uh, with a with a picture template. So what what I did was create one. And so here's an image. And if I want to add a component, you can choose HTML, text, RTF, or uh, some other ones. In fact, I'd like to experiment with the OLE uh, in the future, but right now I'm just going to stick with what I feel like I've done and, and well in Super Memo. Um, so here, I'm going to add an image component. So I just click this, and then click for the upper left, and click for the lower right. I'm not moving it. I guess I can change the size of it a little bit, but we'll leave it like that for right now. Then I'm going to add, I've been using HTML for answers and questions. I don't know if that's the best way to do it, but that's just what I've been doing. And there's one component. And then I'll have another one because I want a question and an answer. This is basically what you get with the, with the built-in occlusion template. Um, and I'm only going to modify it ever so slightly to make it how I want to make it. Um, so let's say I have a, an, okay, well in order to move these things around, we're going to need to edit the components and uh, put them in dragging mode. So here's the mode for components. Right click anywhere. And if you see, if you click on a component, you get the component menu. If you click on anything except for the component, you get the element menu and so that's what we want the element menu and we go to components and we go to mode and we'll go to dragging mode so this will allow me to move my components around and so here's here's one box this is the text box if you remember from what happened earlier another or an HTML box here's another HTML box and here's the image box uh, image component that I have right here in between so I'm probably going to have, I'm just going to, this is just for fun, so I'm going to have a question up top, an image, and then below it an answer is going to pop up. So let's see here. Um, this is how, this is the order I want them in, this is about the right size. Now in order to align them and make them look nice and pretty, I'm going to go ahead and click on this Align Components and Dragging and Editing Modes. And I want them all to be aligned on the left side. And I want them all to be the same width, so I'll have them grow to the largest width. I'm going to leave the vertical heights the same as they are. 
and I'm not going to change that stuff. So I click OK. Here they are. Now they're all the same width. They're all aligned on the left. And I'm going to make this one a little bit higher. OK. So now I have my components set up how I like them. I'm going to go ahead and press Escape to get out of that mode. And now it's in presentation mode. If I right click on a component, I can see whether or not it's an answer. You can also um, view the uh, components, component order, and it will tell you whether or not it's an answer right here. This is drag and drop, show component order, or whatever. It'll tell you the properties of the components right there. We need an answer, an answer component. So I'm going to use this one as the answer component. If you don't put one, it will automatically assign one, and you'll have to deal with that later. From what I've found, maybe not be true. It may not be true in all cases. So I want this picture to show up on the question. I want this to show up as a question, this top text box, and I want my answer to show up, up down here. So I'm going to go ahead and type in question here. Escape. And we'll have answer here. And I will make an image show up uh, in here. Okay, so here's my image. Here's my answer. And here's my question. This is a simple template, and this is all I'm going to do right now. And then all you have to do in order to save it is right click, not on the component, but right click on it to get the element menu. Go to template and go to save as template. And then we can just give this whatever name we want. Um, no, image, I'll just call it uh, image new. Okay, so now in order to use this template in the future, I can go ahead and well, I don't know, I'll do that. go to the file or add new. Item, and I want to apply this template. And then I will choose uh, image new. And here we go. Now I have the template that I like. I can type in my question, put in a picture and whatever, and that's how you do it. As you can see, I prefer having pictures in all of my default templates because if I'm reviewing something, and I'll show you, I'll give you an example up here, and, and I want to know, I want to learn it better. I like to have an image of something there just to help joggle my memory. Whether or not it's an image occlusion uh, template is a different story. I, I use those as well, but for this, I'm, for most of my default template is a uh, question, answer with an image showing. And sometimes I have the image showing at the answer or, uh, or just as part, as a part of the question depending on what kind of image I have there. Anyways, that's a quick tutorial, and if you have any questions, let me know. And if you have any suggestions for me on creating things and, and uh, working with Super Memo, let me know as well. I'm interested in it. I love it. I'm using it for the long term, for my long term studies, um, for the uh, step one exam. I use Anki for short term. Uh, every two weeks right now, I'm having an exam, maybe every three weeks in the future. But uh, I just. I feel like uh, Anki kind of gets off track uh, the further down the road I go, and I have had no problems with Super Memo, and it's been working great. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and good luck to you, and good luck studying.